the, the instrument. Uh, yeah. Like what I was doing right there was almost destroying the song just by talking that little bit. And every single player I know yes. has that problem. Like a piano or a guitar, people just talk to people all the time. But not a hammer doll switch. I'm, su I'm surprised the humidity doesn't throw off your tuning. With the... It's doing much better than I expected. Yeah. It even had rain on it before we pulled oh, this over. Oh, wow. Uh, and it's, uh, it's been through a whole lot of changes the last... Couple I've never seen a dulcimer that large. I could hear it, and it's like, wow, I've heard that before. But when it's, I saw uh, how big it is, that's very large. It's uh, it's uh, an extended range, has a low D. Mm. The, the, most of them nowadays go down to here, the mid size. Mm -hmm. And then up until recently, most of them were about that size. And the company here, Dusty Strings, that made mine doesn't even make the, the small size anymore. Oh, so the strings, so they're, yeah, they're better. getting more and more bigger ones. I see. Yeah. yeah. Very neat. But I got it to have this incredible bass range. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's a little out of tune, but not so insufferably the, so. The strings in the deep bass are overspun then. They're wound, I should yeah, say. Yeah, they're wound. Okay, okay, okay cool. Yeah, so... Beautiful. Because it's, you know... May I take your card? Good. Oh, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Are you a musician? Uh, I'm a harpsichordist. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, so it that's why I... me no end. I ask the... often come up and say, is that a harpsichord? Mm -hmm. And they say, yeah. it sounds just like a harpsichord. Yeah. And I say, <laughs> uh, they invented the piano to make a mechanical version of, of that a hammered dulcimer so they would be able to have a vast mm -hmm. range of... Volume and tone. Yeah, exactly. Which the harpsichord doesn't have. No, you're you're familiar with the pantalon then, the tangent pianos. They were pianos, but they had like wooden tangents in them I've as opposed seen to hammers. Some of that, yeah. I'm yeah. Not a historian. Oh, right? I see. But, but yeah. I'm trying they, to pound it, on it this. It sounds thing and make exactly it into like that. Piano, right. What I'm trying to do. Oh, it sounds beautiful. Your playing I'm is beautiful. Using the hard side of the hammers, I almost mm. always use the suede side, mm. but. Uh, uh, because I want it to be piano like, but mm -hmm. using the hard side today to get it out through the rain because humidity really kills the sound. That's another thing. I'm amazed that with with an instrument that is struck like that, you know, that strings are struck, that they hold their tuning. Uh, Striking has no difference. Really, it's only humidity and temperature. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah, they're extremely resilient. I, There's something about it that it, they're. And the companies have gotten better and better yep. at building them so that they are stable, you know. I see. But, uh, yeah, it's like, uh, I mean, this does not sound like a harpsichord. If you put them side by side, this sounds like somebody trying to play the piano. Yeah, no, it does. It really does. You know, and that's what I was going to say. There's that's a, a quiet, plucked instrument, you know. There, there, so. there. And it's chromatic. This it, is not chromatic. No, 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 no. So, I didn't think it was. So I'm staying di diatonic almost totally mm -hmm. because that's what I can do. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's beautiful playing, so, though. Beautiful live, work. Thank you. Do you live around here? I do. I live in Virginia Beach. Oh, yeah. I, I don't have, no, I don't have my card with me, but. You can so, email me if you. Want. Yeah, no, I will. I will. I will. So Ed, yeah, that'd be cool. Ed Wright, the gentleman who uh, works in the cabinet maker shop here, who builds the spinets and the harpsichords. Yeah, I've I've messaged him on Facebook. I don't think he blogs in that much, but um. Yeah, I'm. Uh, he uh he I'm he's pretty active there because it's one of my biggest contacts with the outside world. Sure. Are you from around here as well? Yeah. I, well, I came here to, to college in 1970. And you've been here ever since. Yeah. I haven't okay. Tried. But, uh, <laughs> I've tried to get away. Here oh, you are, here you are, yeah. You can't move away. This is a good place to stay. It is, yeah. I love it. I like I said, I've, I'm from Virginia Beach. My name is Philip, by the way, and you okay, are. Okay, I'm Tim. Tim, good to meet you, Tim. Yeah. So I've lived there basically my whole life. You know, I was born in Florida, but I was a baby when we moved to Virginia Beach, and uh -huh. here I am. So you're a swamp boy. Yeah. I, I am, yeah, 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 yes, sir. A lot of people don't know that. They hear Virginia Beach and they think, oh, the beach, and it's like, well, uh, it's mostly swamp. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's. Part of it is the beach, yeah, yeah. but no, it's uh, I love it. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. And, and my uh, mountain dulcimers are made by a guy that lives next to the dismal swamp mm -hmm. in uh, Chesapeake. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. Just talked to. I was just visited him last Sunday for the first time in over a decade because I was playing for a wedding down there. Oh, fun! And uh, he lives close, and, and so I say my mountain dulcimer isn't really a mountain dulcimer. It's a swamp dulcimer. Swamp dulcimer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's funny. 